Hello everyone, welcome back to Hands-On Skills. My name is Alex Like, and in today's video we're going to cover transcutaneous pacing. Now this isn't a rhythm recognition video. I'll be outlining the pacer function on a manual defibrillator. And although your county or department's protocols may differ, I'll be using AHA guidelines when selecting energy. Let's go ahead and take a look. First thing I'll do is turn on the pacer function. I'll then select a rate, which should be within the range of the patient's normal heart rate. I'll then adjust the current, and I will keep increasing this incrementally until I see electrical capture occur. I know that pacing is occurring because the pacer spikes are immediately followed by a QRS complex at the same rate which I had set earlier. I will now increase the milliamperage by 10 or 15 more to ensure capture continues during transport. I will now check the patient's pulse to make sure it matches, thus assuring mechanical capture. Patient condition and all other vital signs should be checked. If you fail to achieve mechanical capture, increase the milliamperage until an appropriate pulse rate is felt. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Until next time, continue to stay safe. Have a good rest of your night.